everyone, and welcome back to the Introverted Aromatherapist. Today, I'm going to talk to you about hyssop. Hyssop was mentioned in the Old Testament as a strewing herb. What they meant by strewing was throwing a bunch of the fresh herbs onto the floor and walking over them. In walking over them, they crushed them and released the scent into the air. The scent of hyssop was thought to be clearing and cleansing. And indeed today, we distill it into a pure essential oil, and many of its uses have to do with clearing and cleansing. It's great for the mind. It clears the mind, helps with mental fog, helps with stress and anxiety. I did mention it in my anxiety video. It's great for setting up emotional boundaries, putting other people's pain and problems over here, and dealing with your own stuff and not theirs. And in so doing, it helps us establish an attitude of positivity. Hyssop is actually excreted through the lungs, so it's excellent for asthma and bronchitis. It helps open up the lungs, it helps us breathe, it helps with coughs and colds. It's considered to be antiviral, so again, coughs and colds, considered to be an immunity agent. Um, it's very warming to the system, so it's good for arthritis. It helps with circulation, so it helps with varicose veins. Hyssop does what very few other essential oils do, and that is help with bruises. You can put about five to 10 drops of hyssop into a carrier oil and rub it onto a bruise and it will help the bruise heal more quickly. It's great, as I said, for arthritis. It's very warming to the body and opens the lungs. Now, there are some pretty serious warnings on hyssop though. It, it does bring on menstruation, so that means it should never be used by women who want to get pregnant or women who are pregnant. It also induces seizures in people who are prone to them, so it should absolutely never be used anywhere near anyone who has a seizure disorder or epilepsy. So please, please do not use hyssop around people with seizure disorder or epilepsy. Um, the standard warnings apply to hyssop. Do not use it with pregnant women. Do not use it on children under six and absolutely do not ingest it. But those are a few things about hyssop. If you have any questions on how it is used for the various things I've mentioned, please do put a question down below and I will answer it. If you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and subscribe, give me a like. Otherwise, enjoy and I will see you soon. Walk in beauty.